this is the Creality Laser Falcon and this is the Creality Laser Falcon 2 Pro laser engraver, which was already shown by Creality at Form Next. Uh, what they didn't show was the fume extract that was hidden behind there somewhere. This is a fume extractor for laser engravers. And this is a real fume extractor for laser engravers, the one which is supposed to be used with the Creality Laser Falcon 2 Pro. As you can see, quite a bit bigger and more effective, of course. This is the whole setup. The enclosure is, of course, the main new feature here. Um, it will also be available for the non-pro version of the Laser Falcon 2 if you want it as an upgrade part. Uh, the air assist pump is also included with it, but uh, if you want the smoke purifier, the fume extractor here, then you have to buy it separately, but it is really worth it because it enables you to cut and engrave inside. Um, otherwise, all the smoke would uh, go to your house and this is really not good and uh, hard to catch with these uh, add-on en enclosures that were available so far. The enclosure is of course also a big safety feature and um, it will stop the laser if you open the lid or if you open the tray but you can continue anytime by hitting the start button again. And this makes the 4D watt laser which is a class 4 laser as a whole device effectively a class 1 laser device with CE certification and so on um, which is really important for uh, semi-professional users or everyone in uh, education or so especially here in Germany for example you need a device which complies with work safety and so on uh, even if you just want to use it for an Etsy store and uh, I think people who have this purpose uh, will get this kind of device. Uh, there are also some other upgrades. Here you can see the linear rail on the x-axis. You can see the light burn camera on top and you can see on the side the USB connector for the camera and on the inside there's a smoke extraction fan and um, these bars on the bottom which replace the honeycomb bed are also new. You can um, remove them separately and place them as you like. Uh, for example here if you want to put a smaller item in you can get them closer together. Uh, there's also a LED bar built in which is really handy to have a good sight and uh, if you don't like the bars on the bottom you can just remove them and uh, slide in a honeycomb bed and um, use your classic honeycomb bed if you already have one. Uh, besides uh, USB engraving with light burn or so there's also a SD card slot available so you can do offline engraving if you want. And here you can see the two devices compared again. Um, the middle part is pretty much the same. It's the same device um, and the enclosure just bolted on. So uh, if you are interested in the parameters of the power of the 40 watt module you can just look at reviews of the standard laser falcon 2 40 watt and it will be the same uh, performance uh, but of course this kind of enclosure as you can see here these tents are really not that great compared to the um, laser falcon 2 pro i have used them myself and um, here you can see the modules compared the 40 watt module on the right and i have the 22 watt version of the uh, standard laser falcon 2 which is a bit smaller you can switch the power of the 40 watt to 22 watt for higher precision engraving um, and yeah you can see it here compared and besides that um, one main feature that the, the older version had and the new version really doesn't have is that you can uh, adjust the height as you like um, of course you are restrained with this uh, full enclosure here uh, regarding the height of what you can engrave um, you can um, get the laser module quite high so it will suit most purposes but um, you could of course uh, remove the bottom of the laser falcon 2 pro temporarily and uh, use it for higher parts um, compromising the safety of course if you just want the laser higher up, however, you can uh, bolt on the extension feet here. Um, they are compatible with the ones for the older version. I have tried both Creality rotary rollers, the one with and the one without the chuck. Uh, if you remove the bars, you can easily fit them in and slide the laser above them. 
the thing is um, they work with smaller diameter objects like for example this bottle there is okay um, as long as you can get the laser in focus um, and the y-axis doesn't move anyway um, the, just the x-axis moves um, then it's okay for example here it, it would be no problem the bottle would be in focus here and uh, it would be fine but if the diameter gets too close the fixed part on the back the black part is what actually collides with the bottle and you can raise that up you can just raise the module up so for, for example this tumbler here is a bit bigger and um, here it is a bit more problematic but as long as you can get it in focus you don't even need to be exactly in the in the middle um, in the top of the middle um, then it will work so most uh, things will work if the diameter is not too big so um, especially things like this glass here are really easy to engrave you can see you can even go over the middle so yeah um, totally fine to to get this here engraved if you wanted it. In actual operation the laser would just move like this over a rotary roller anyway. Here are some ideas that you can make with the laser fucking tool. For example you can engrave on stone and slates like this. You can also engrave on all kinds of uh, organic material like leather. Um, it also has this effect on stainless steel which has a uh, color appearing depending on the speed and the power you use also works with 22 watts but not on auto metal stand stainless steel uh, with this 455 nanometer laser the most commonly thing that is cut and engraved with this kind of laser is uh, wood and here you can see a fish that was made with several different color sheets of wood and uh, then stacked together um, it works really well on all kinds of materials as long as they are not fully transparent like this uh, semi-transparent acrylic works really well it was first cut and then the football was uh, engraved um, and then you can make this kind of lamp here in general the laser falcon 2 works on all kinds of materials that are not transparent to blue light uh, also with metal you have to be careful uh, if you want to do mainly metal you need a fiber laser Let's take a closer look at the fume extractor. It is quite loud, yes, but uh, if you want a higher air throughput, that is the price you have to pay, I guess. Um, you can turn it down, but here you can hear it. And here you can observe what happens when you turn it on. You can see the tube uh, is pulled together quite a bit by the strong vacuum that is created. Uh, the installation is quite simple. You just slide it over the duct here and uh, then um, loosen the spring clamp and then just let the spring clamp go again and it's on. You're probably also interested in how the fume extractor works. Uh, it has three filter stages in it. Uh, first pre-filter which is quite dirty in mine already. I think this is the one which would be replaced most often. Then uh, second filter which is uh, also solid. And the biggest, the third one, which has some kind of particles in it, you can hear it, and I guess it's activated carbon. Um, and on the bottom you can see where the air gets pulled in the fume extractor. Filter replacements are also available, of course, as you can see I have all three kinds here already. The next relevant feature to look at is the lightborne camera on the top of the enclosure. Uh, here you can see the laser engraver moving, uh, but this is not the main feature. The main feature of course is the alignment of the part with the um, lightborne software here. You can do the calibration first to get the uh, lens corrected here. And then for example I do update the overlay here to see where the cloth pack is that I placed on the build plate can see on the right that I just put something here and yeah there is the close pack and now I will pull my name on it and um, 
here you can see how it looked from the outside of the laser I put it in here now I move over to the laptop after closing the lid of course the, the light inside of the laser helps uh, to get a good view for the camera even without the ring light that I have standing out behind here and yeah if I'm happy with the position and everything is aligned well then I can just start the laser and you can uh, watch it engrave and then let's take a, uh, a look at the result. It can engrave up to 25,000 millimeters per minute by the way. And yeah, the position is quite good and uh, as I wanted it. And next let's take a look at the performance of the laser module. It's the 40 watt module and um, here I have a bit over 20 millimeters of wood which is uh, quite a lot for a diode laser. And um, I'm going to cut at 100% with uh, the full 40 watt power um, at 100 millimeters per minute. And uh, yeah, just look if it is aligned well. This creates a lot of smoke and um, as you can see there is no smoke filling the room. So at one pass and 100 millimeters per minute it cut about 18 millimeters of the 20. I guess if you slow it down to about 60 millimeters per minute or so then it will do that whole 20 millimeters uh, in one pass. Which is quite impressive if you think that this is a diode laser. Focusing is still done with this small plate here. If you lower down the laser module onto it, it should be the correct height for engraving or for cutting if you use the other stages of it. And the laser falcon has end stops on both sides. If you want to use laser protection goggles anyway despite the laser being enclosed, uh, the green ones here come with the laser falcon too. They have a quite good coverage of your eyes, but um, if you want the more professional ones, they also sell these uh, orange ones here, which have a OD7 plus uh, rating. Here you can see the Creality Laser Falcon 2 Pro compared to a 2Trees TS3, which is the other fully enclosed laser engraver that I have. Uh, you can see the laser module is quite a bit smaller because it's only 10 watts and the uh, uh, build space also is a bit smaller. It is also more confined to the Z-axis even compared to the enclosed one here. Um, and yeah, the laser module way way bigger on the Creality of course with 40 watts which means there are 8 diodes, laser diodes uh, in the 40 watt module. And the 2 trees also does not come with the fume extractor but you could add one if you wanted. Here you can see what in my opinion tells apart all the Laser Falcon 2 models from other companies laser engravers. It's the three safety features built into the laser module itself. In this case the flame alarm went off uh, so you can see that laser is driving out of the way so that it doesn't get damaged. The other two features are the lens detection, it detects if the lens needs cleaning so you don't damage the lens and it also checks if the airflow coming from the air assist is too low so that you can clean the filter there or check what is the issue. In conclusion the Laser Falcon 2 is currently my favorite laser engraver that I have. Uh, it is just so much more convenient to use with the full enclosure and the smoke extractor uh, compared to the other ones that I had so far. Uh, especially because I don't have to carry it outside, it's just start whatever I want inside and uh, don't have to care too much about the smoke uh, filling the room. Of course it is more expensive than an uh, open frame laser with the same power or even just a 22 watt version that I had so far. However for someone who has to get the uh, class 1 laser with CE certification and so on for a professional environment, hence the pro in the name, uh, I think it's a good option if you're looking for something like that and um, if you're advanced hobbyist it's also uh, something you might want to spend your money on. If you want one however and don't want to spend money on it, uh, check out the Laser Falcon 2 groups. They have uh, giveaways all the time. Currently they are giving away a Laser Falcon 2 Pro and they are also giving away three enclosures which can be added on the standard Laser Falcon uh, to upgrade it 
to a pro like laser falcon um i will leave the link in the description and if you have any questions please leave a comment and i will see if i can answer it or you could also ask in creality's laser falcon discord or in the laser falcon facebook group in case you want me to try something with the laser falcon 2 pro or if you want something compared with the previous model uh, you can also write a comment and uh, it would be nice if you leave a like for the video or uh, subscribe to the channel and thanks a lot for watching and bye